Hey everyone, welcome back to Dad's Bedtime Stories. Did you know that you can submit ideas to the podcast? Just write to me at dad.bedtimestories at gmail.com or probably have your parents write to me anyways. Just give me an idea, a name, a word, pretty much anything to go on and we'll see if we can work it into the podcast. There's also a form if you want to fill that out instead. Anyways, moving on to the episode. This is episode 132, The Soccer Superstar. Or for those of you on the other side of the pond, The Football Superstar. As usual, just close your eyes, get as comfy as you can in your bed, and imagine yourself doing the things the person in the story does. You wake up and stretch. You look over at your calendar and you realize what day it is. It's the day of the big soccer game. Today, you have to take on one of the toughest other soccer teams. And you've been gallivanting off in space instead of practicing. Ugh. Spaceship, you say? I don't think this is going to be good. I haven't been practicing enough at all. Practicing what? Spaceship asks. Uh, practicing soccer. I haven't been practicing soccer. Oh, understood. Why don't you just use one of your powers? Uh, what do you, what do you mean use one of your powers? Well, you have access to many things that other kids do not. For example, you could shapeshift into some sort of animal that would be better at soccer. I, I, I don't know that people would be okay with me turning into a soccer playing polar bear or something like that. You respond. Understood, Spaceship says. How about one of your magical powers then? My magical powers, you say? Yes, Spaceship says. Remember when you trained as a mage? Oh yeah, you respond. I do remember training as a mage. I haven't used those powers in a while. But even if I could use those powers, I don't think shooting fire at the other players is a really fair idea. No, it is not, Spaceship responds. That would put you in jail. Right, right. However, have you thought about your time-stopping powers? My time-stopping powers? Oh yeah, I forgot that I could stop time. How would that help me in soccer? You ask. Being able to slow down your perception of time should help you. That is a good point. I could probably be one of the best goalkeepers in the world. I think you might be onto something. Let's go practice right away. Understood, Spaceship says. Spaceship flies through the halls and you follow it outside. Once you're safely outside, Spaceship transforms into a soccer net and then throws a soccer ball to you with one of its robotic hands that are attached to the soccer net. This ball is designed to move itself around, Spaceship explains. You should stand in the goal. The soccer ball will try to take shots on net using itself. Okay, and what do I do? Try to speed up your perception of time, making everything seem to slow down, Spaceship says. All right. Wait, I'll need my staff for this. You focus your mind on your staff. And suddenly, out of nowhere, your staff flies from wherever it was directly into your hand. Thinking that it might be a little conspicuous to uh, hold the staff during the soccer game, you decide it's probably best if you shrink it down a bit. Thinking about it for a while, you eventually come up with an idea. 
You focus your energy on the staff. You allow your mind to go to a clear place, focused on happy thoughts. And you imagine the staff shrinking down and curling itself around your finger like a ring. The staff shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and then curls up right around your finger. Okay, now that I'm in the zone, you say, you focus again. You start imagining yourself going faster and 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 faster. You focus your energy into your ring, and then there's a sudden burst around you. Everything slows down. You watch a leaf fall from a tree, slowly making its way down. You can easily run over to it and pinch it with two of your fingers in midair. Then you run back to the soccer net ready to stop whatever spaceship has in store. The soccer ball suddenly shoots itself forward towards the net, but it's going so slow, it's almost as if it's a balloon filled with air. You easily run over to it and slap it out of the way. It flies high up in the air, way above your house, and uh, disappears off in the distance. You then relax your focus on the power and bring time back to normal. That was excellent. However, may I suggest not doing anything too conspicuous like shooting the soccer ball way over the house, Spaceship says. Remember, you are moving much faster than everything else. Right, right. I'll have to be careful about that. You and Spaceship practice for a little while longer. You practice focusing your energy into your ring and speeding up, well, yourself, which makes everything else seem slower. You eventually get the hang of going to just the right amount of slowed down time, allowing you to still move naturally while you stop the soccer ball and kick it back in the other direction. Spaceship then creates a couple human soccer player robots that look pretty real, actually. You run some drills with the robots, dribbling the soccer ball, trying to get around them without them stealing it from you. And again, when you learn to focus your power on your ring, you're easily able to slow down time, giving you ample time to think about what to do next moving much faster than the other players. You can quickly shoot the ball out of the way, dribble around them, and score on net without any issues. After a couple hours of practicing, it seems like it's time for the game. Spaceship, we have to get there now. Let's go. Spaceship grows to its full size and you jump in the back. It quickly lifts up off the ground and flies towards the soccer game. Spaceship makes itself invisible as you get near the field and lowers itself down nearby a tree. The back hatch opens and you look around making sure nobody sees you and after ensuring that nobody's looking, you walk out of the ship. You head over to your team and the coach tells you where to go on the field. You head out and the game starts. Before long, a player is coming right at you with the soccer ball. Again, you focus your energy into your ring, and you begin to slow down the time around you, giving you ample time to see what he's doing with his feet. You watch the ball, and you watch the player, and with absolute ease, you steal the ball from him, spin around behind him, flip it up in the air. Again, the ball moves so slowly it's like a balloon floating around in the air. Then you aim perfectly 
and you kick the ball straight out of the air with perfect precision. The ball flies straight at the goalie on the other team and right past him, gaining you the first goal of the game. Your team cheers and jumps on you, congratulating you on the awesome goal you just got. The rest of the game goes much the same way for a while. Every time the ball comes near you, you're able to slow down time and either steal it or make your way around the other player without any issues at all. After about half the game is over, you've already scored four goals for your team and the other team hasn't gotten anything. Being a kid's soccer game, the coach calls you over and tells you that he's going to switch your position right now to give some of the other players a chance. The coach asks you to go into the goal, and you do so without any kind of complaint. You start to wonder if you should feel bad for using magic powers to win a kid's soccer game, but then you just shake it off. You notice the other team coming towards you with the ball. The other player is very, very good. He easily makes his way through the players on your team. Your defense isn't even paying any attention anyways. And he comes straight towards you. Just as he's lifting his foot back to wind up and kick, you focus again on slowing down the time around you by speeding yourself up, of course. Suddenly, everything becomes slower. You see the other player kick the ball, and the ball slowly enters the air, heading straight up towards the top left corner of the net. Trying to move naturally and not too quickly to look like some sort of superhuman, you begin to move your way towards the ball. Just as it's about to hit the net, you grab it out of the air with both hands and return time to normal, rolling around on the ground and kicking the ball back out to start the game again. The game goes on like this for a while. Every time the other team comes towards you, you just slow down time and easily stop the ball. By the end, your team is one for nothing. Everyone jumps around and celebrates. And somebody's brought freezies too. You go and try a freezy. And after a while, you wave goodbye to all of your friends and teammates. And you head back home. Or at least you head towards the tree where Spaceship's been waiting. A door opens seemingly out of nowhere since Spaceship's still invisible. And you can see the inside of the ship. You walk aboard and the ship closes. You focus on the ring around your finger and you imagine it unwinding from your finger, straightening out and stretching back out to its full size. Soon you're holding the staff in your hand once again. You lean it up against the wall thinking, that was a lot of fun, but maybe next time I'll just practice more. You think, not sure if you'll keep that promise. You're feeling pretty tired after a long day of soccer, but the good thing about having a spaceship is your home is wherever you are, or wherever your spaceship is anyways. You lay down on the couch of the ship, and you just rest your head on the pillow, ready to have a nice little nap. You close your eyes, and with each out-breath, you release more and more tension from your muscles. And slowly, you begin to sink into the couch, just feeling a sense of relaxation and calm as you allow your mind to drift off and allow yourself to dream of new things and new adventures to come. Good night, everyone.